thrust her empire northward into Alta California, this vast rich land known as Paradise Valley was granted to Don Sebastian Fernando. Instead of migrating to the so-called savage western colonies, Don Fernando sent Juan Mendoza as his overseer. Mendoza found these impenetrable mountains completely isolated the valley. He soon turned this paradise into a Hades of pay and agent starvation. Even Father Xavier, the mission priest, was forced to confine his life within the church compound. The only outlet from this valley was a treacherous road high in the mountains which led through a deep natural pass. Mendoza blocked this pass with guards who allowed no one to enter or leave without his permission. Under his relentless whip, Paradise Valley became a virtual prison. Senor Mendoza, three mission Indians tried to escape through the pass today. We killed two of them, but the other one got away. Got away? You dog, I'll have you torn limb from limb. No one must leave this valley. Please, senor. No one got through the pass. My men are still trailing him here in the valley. He will be found and killed. I swear it. These I found on one of them. Stand there, get and be gone, dog, and find that other Indian. Si, senor. Good evening to you, Padre. What now, Mendoza? Oh, just a little matter of a lost article, good friar. This was evidently entrusted to a careless man. I thought you might know the owner. I do. And its contents? Of course. Let us see, then. Our most illustrious and gracious governor, people of San Fernando humbly petition that you give them relief and deliverance from suffering and starvation. We have been imprisoned in this valley for the past five years. The people flogged like slaves by your overseer. Padre, tis I you speak of. I can't believe that you would write such a vicious accusation. Your cruel deeds demand harsh words, Mendoza. The people of this valley need food and kindness. Nonsense, Padre. You've become oversensitive to their wailing. I would suggest to you that if another incident such as this happens again, I'll... Well, I think you understand. Mendoza, I beg of thee, repent thy evil ways. Good night. Among the lasses, oh, I'll bring grow the rashes, oh. I'll bring grow the rashes, oh. No, 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 Nita, not gringo, green grow the rashes. Gringo the rashes, oh. No, 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 it's green grow. Gringo. You've got everybody in the village calling me Gringo. See, Gringo. It's easy to say Gringo. But green, 
grows. That's hard. And Mikkel, Bob. The gringo. That's beautiful. <laughs> Do you always get your own way? Is it so hard to learn gringo? No, oh, it is easy enough, Nathan. Sure, and all it wants is practice. The clay has lime in it. It burns my skin. See? The potter's wheel would be easier work, no? Then I'll promise to show you as soon as you're good at the tie. But the clay is rough, Gringo. See? <laughs> the tile first. Learn to walk before you run. Nada still has ambitions, I see. Eh, Gringo? <laughs> she claims her father was a Don. And I'm half believing it, Maria. She's lazy enough to be both Don and Indian. I don't think you'll ever make an artisan of her, Michael. She's in the way of being a bit of an artist, though. I? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I like her. She's pretty and cheerful. And blunt. Oh, we do. Oh, father's ready to lift the big bell. Oh. and the chalk. Leave men to this work, darling. Darling. I love that foreign word. <laughs> sure, and it's not foreign to me. Nothing foreign about it, child. These tackle rigs were used by our own agents. Yes, father. <sighs> All right. Ready? <laughs> Are you all right, darling? Yes, Michael, but what happened? The bell was too heavy. See, on the rope, too weak. We need Guyon to help us. Oh, he'll be in by dusk, Father. It's Juan Mendoza. Back to your work, Miguel. And you too, Maria. Father, please be careful. Be gone, both of you. Quickly. Dios García Ruenos. Thy peach is ripe for picking, blacksmith. Maria's but 18, Senor Mendoza. When are you going to make up your mind? Why, Maria's young. She has no interest in marriage. Wait a year, Senor. I am a man who takes what he wants when he sees it. You've no complaints against my manners. I've approached this affair as a gentleman. Yes, you've done that, but Maria's not ready. Never was a filly more ready for harness. Blacksmith, tomorrow I'm giving a fiesta. A fiesta? See, si, music, wine, and dancing. There is something to celebrate. I have noticed nothing good since you came to this valley, senor. Now look, Blacksmith, I am a sensitive man. Sometimes thy words sting. After the fiesta, there will be no more hard feelings, I assure you. But what is there to celebrate? An announcement. I have important affairs to announce publicly, and the matter calls for gaiety, Blacksmith, and music. How about the bells? I hang the second one as soon as Guyon comes to help move it. Good. I command that you have them rung during the fiesta. And see that yonder gringo attends. The Irish here is a free-thinking man. And free-talking. He's not fooling me, blacksmith. He and your daughter are together over much. Two years he's been here, senor. And there's nothing between them that's not between brother and sister. See that it remains so. 
Were it not for his tile making, I would have done away with him when he first strayed into this valley. Nita, a part Cholo from the upper valley. A new face. You're sure she didn't come from the outside? No one comes from the outside, Senor Mendoza, these five years or more. Intrusions we can do without, Garcia. Well then, announce the fiesta and be sure you're there. See, si, Senor, I will announce it. Mikhail, Guyan is here. What luck, Guyan? Did you find a way? Oh, I covered every ravine. It is a wild country, master. To cross those mountains, even the bears must sprout wings. <laughs> you must keep searching. At the rope, Guyan. Pull. But it's dangerous, hombres. Come, big clown, help lift the bell off the mole. <laughs> I saw a monkey climb one of these things once. <laughs> oh, come on, big one, give us a hand. Yes, Whoosh, man, you're a living tackle block. Muscles were made before rope springle. <laughs> Thank you, Guyon. Maria has food ready. Go eat. Uh, there was something I had to say. It seems to have left my mind. Now, never mind now. I have words for the gringo. For me, Garcia. You saw Mendoza here? Aye. And it's more tile he'll be wanting? No, he announces a fiesta. A fiesta? Mendoza? So the devil himself would dance at a graveyard rigatoon? He says he has important news that requires a celebration. He commanded that you be there. Faith in this valley has little enough to be gay about. Did you say he asked for me? See. Si. What are you two saying? Mendoza announces a fiesta, a great celebration. Oh, Michael, and we can dance? There is something afoot, my child. Men like Mendoza celebrate only evil. Oh, Father, you brew too much. Sure, and a fiesta's a fiesta, but not with Mendoza. Oh, but, Michael, just think, music and dancing. Master, I remember now what I forgot. Today I found something. I pulled some wild onions for my lunch. And these bits of metal clung to the roots. Gold. Gold. He makes a gold strike, eats, sleeps like a bull pig, and then forgets all about it. <laughs> Father, are you sure? The bellows go on. Where did you find this, Guyon? Well, high up in the crags near the ancient military camp. That's mission land. Land thought worthless and given to the church. Quickly, Guyon. We must explain this to Father Savior and ask advice. All of you, say naught of this to anyone. Sure, and you'd think a gold strike was a tragedy. Where I come from, you'd stake a claim, work it out, and maybe get rich. This is not your country, Michael. Here, things are not done that way. With gold, men may be bought. Gold is stronger than Mendoza. Gold can be an evil thing, Michael. Oh, I wish you'd never fallen into all our troubles. Oh, twas straight into heaven I fell when I found you, darling. Have faith, Maria. The angels have never deserted Michael O'Brien. <laughs> You know my life's ambition, Padre. It is to make these bells. I know, my friend. And it is indeed a worthy cause. 
Nevertheless, I urge you, let Guyon continue to find scrap metal for your bells. The carillon will be completed in time. The scrap metals he can get, but it is alloys I need, Father. The gold, for one. One word of this gold, my friend, and our mission would no longer have need for bells. Already they have penned us within a few barren acres. The sanctity of these old walls would never survive a rush for gold. But it can be mined in secret, Father. I cannot enforce restrictions. Do as your conscience guides. The metal is yours since Guyon stumbled upon it. I merely warn you of the consequences. Once a rush has begun, not even the cross could hold back the vandals and their destruction. Garcia, our people already suffer more than they can endure. I could cast a full carillon, Father. In my early life, I have been a sinful man. Allow me this mark of atonement. I will ask for guidance. Thank you, Father. Everyone has been waiting. Without you, there is no fiesta. Oh, I'm flattered, senor. Today we are celebrating a great event. I would let them all hear your lovely voice. You will sing. Oh, thank you for the honor, senor, but in my heart there is no song today. Sure, and your heart was never without a song, darling. It is not for him you'd be singing. The gringo is right, senorita. Pedro! Play Land of the Dreams. Senorita Garcia will sing for us. My talents are appreciated, Gringo. Not at all. Don't mention it. Careful, Mikhail. You're courting needless trouble. Sure, and a man has a right to speak his mind. Oh, 
Smith Garcia and to his family. An honor also to the village of San Fernando and to the entire valley. The bells now announce the posting of my marriage bands. I have decided to marry here in your village a senorita from among your own people. Senorita Garcia. <laughs> It is the custom on such announcements to ask if there are any objections. <laughs> of course, there can be no objections here. So on with the dance, amigos. We celebrate until tomorrow. It's objections he wants, is it? Oh, no, Michael. Please don't speak. Hey, then you've all cringed too long at this man's voice. Oh, stop, Michael. There must be some other way. Please don't bring trouble into the open. Where I come from, darling, we go out into the open to mate it. <laughs> There's one objection to these marriage bands, Mendoza. Me. You're a foreigner, gringo. Your word is no good in church or in court. Besides, you must be drunk. Sober enough to challenge you, Mendoza. With your weapons or with good Irish knuckles. This is the only thing a swine no, like no, you can senor, understand. Please don't. Garcia, take her away from here before it's too late. <laughs> Get out of here! Don't be a fool, Gringo! 
with it. Feeling you like a pack of wolves. Father Xavier will help you. Please, Michael, hurry. Come on, get out. at the blacksmith shop. So, he wasn't at the mission. Well, speak, fools, did the earth swallow him? We were delayed, senor. There was much confusion before we cleared the patio. There was nothing but confusion. And more confusion in your brains. I want him alive. For one hour. What about the guards? We doubled them, senor, and they rolled them in the pass. Idiots. Don't scum! Find him then, he can't leave the valley. Bring him to me alive if you can. If not, bring me his head. Now get out, all of you. Get out! Where did you come from? Please, Senor. Please do not be angry with me. Come here, little one. Oh, it's Senor. Senor, Senor. I could help you, Senor. For the brews. My people have herbs. I could mix them for you. The balm. It is soothing. It will heal you. And there is a drink from the herbs. We'll be back, Padre, soon. They will come back again. Maria, you will have to convince Michael of the danger he is in. I have pleaded for hours to no avail. <laughs> that Irisher has his own ways, Father. Come. Oh, my God, darling. Oh, why didn't you let things go as they were? No, no, darling. All I did was to offer my objections. But if they find you here, they'll kill you. Go hide in the hills, it will be safer there. He's trying to get out of the valley. And in three weeks, have Mendoza claim marriage to you? Oh, no, Maria. I won't run out on a thing like that. It is your debt to stay here, Ringo. Mendoza and his men have no scruples about the church, my son. They will soon find you if you stay here. Mendoza will scour every inch of this village. When I leave this valley, I'm taking you with me. Straight to the governor and ask for the right to marry under your own country's laws. You don't know our politics, Miguel. Oh, I beg of you, save yourself. It's our lives, too, if you stay. Oh, Michael, please hurry. All right, darling, the hills it is. For a while. I'll go to that place you told me about, Guyan. The old army camp. See, amigo, you'll be safe there. There is no one in sight. We 
shall all pray for your safety. Thank you, Father. Don't worry, darling. Before taking a fortune out of it. Three fortunes, amigo. Aye. Uh, the saints will smile on us for this. The blacksmith will be waiting for you, Guyon. I'll cover up our traces here. Hear that, Guyon? Strange hour for Angelus. It is not the Angelus. It is the second ringing of the bells for Mendoza's marriage. Guyon, I must think of another way out of this valley, and soon. But there is no other pass. I don't mean another pass, another way. Tile wagon. When does Pablo's tile wagon leave for Monterey? A few days, I think. Ah, oh, thy brains are not made of clay, Gringo. No, no, it won't work. Pablo is one of Mendoza's men. See, si, amigo, but I have a way with that poltroon. I? Then with your help, good friend, I'll be on that wagon when it leaves, and then to Monterey. And uh, after that, thing? Back here, you clown. Pass it out with Mendoza, man to man. You'll not head back to sea the way you came? The O'Briens are noted for one thing, Guyon. Once a job is started, we see it through. Is that way for me, for the bells? Stay near the wash. I take this to the master. Then hide that gold well. See you, amigo. Don't worry. Adios. You travel like a panther. It is my way, master. You have been to the village? Yes. There has been no word of the gringo. He's nothing back. Why are you so sure? I talked to the senorita. She is very sad for this grink. So, she grieves for him, eh? It's not enough that I offer her marriage to me. I'll have that gringo's head. Juan! Juan! Si, senor. Prepare my horse. Si, senor. Master. You go to the village to see her? No. See, si, to talk sense to her. Oh, no, no, master. She has no love for you. You will take her place, little one, eh? And follow me to Spain? Spain? Oh, master. And do this for me, little one. Keep your eyes open and thy ears alert for any news of the gringo. Si, si. Oh, Spain. Master. Back to the village, little one, for now. Master. Mendoza's men are thick as rabbits in the hills. Have they trailed you? Oh, they think I search for scrap metal for the bells. It is the gringo they want. And he lies hidden in the wash. He helped me with the digging again last night. <laughs> to the bellows, do you? Into the bells, good friend. I am casting it into the bells. It is a good alloy, then? None better. I will cast a bell with the throat of a log, a base that can be heard for leaves. In God's work, the curse is removed from the gold into the bells. <laughs> the gringo begged me to find a good hiding place for the bullion. <laughs> oh, that Irish will roar when I tell him how it's hidden. <laughs> Thank you. 
Mendoza. You must see nothing unusual. Work hard. Where is this, Garcia? Buenos. I would have words with you, blacksmith. And you, Guyan. Si. You know every crevice in this valley, no? Si, senor. Then tell me, where would this gringo be hiding? Oh, that one must have wings, senor. He is not in the valley. Just the same, blacksmith. Keep this brute out of the hills from now on. Buenos dias, senor Mendoza. Buenos dias, Maria. The day is only half as bright as your smile, my dear. I had no chance to call before this. Much work and a slight fever. Oh, I'm so sorry. I hope you're well now. Your smile would heal a thousand fevers, Maria. You're so forceful, Senor. You will never regret it. I swear, your father too will benefit. Oh, I'm sure he'll agree to anything I decide, senor. You must learn to call me Juan. Maria. Oh, senor Mendoza is very considerate and so gentlemanly, father. <laughs> With one so beautiful, how else would a caballero act? Blacksmith, prepare for a journey. Spain, I take you with us. My life's work is here in this valley. Cast thy bells in Spain, where they'll be appreciated. This valley, a foul colony. Maria, I will give you Madrid. You are very wealthy, senor. Look, we are here together, soon to be one family, no? If this is Maria's wish, bueno, it is we three. Then listen, when I first came to this valley, I saw you. I watched you bloom like a flower. I knew this day would come. But now, in the governor's seat in Monterey, there is a Fernando, Don Sebastian himself. A Fernando, governor? It is now necessary to hasten. First, there will be the marriage, and then a boat from Monterey and Spain. Maria is not ready. Let Senor Mendoza explain, father. This is why I must hasten, Blackstone. I have milked these dons, these pampered swine, until their veins are white. I got mine. And all I leave for Sebastian Fernando is worn lands and work sick peons. This is not in my manner. In the way of the Lord, Mendoza, you have sinned. Sinned? What have these dons ever done for such as we, fool? I had my chance in this colony. I took it. Maria, talk sense to your father, girl. At least I can see that you and I think similar thoughts. Adios, Maria, for now. What means this God? <laughs> Poor father. Michael's the only man I'll ever marry. But what about this manner of yours with Mendoza? In the ancient book. I once read that if you would destroy an enemy, first take away his suspicions and put him to sleep. <laughs> oh, you are a woman, Maria. Oh, Father. <laughs> now off with you. You heard Mendoza? She missed. You dare not be seen again in the hills. But, Master, the tire wagon leaves tomorrow. The gringo, how will he know? Perdido. Find Perdido and bring him to me. Quickly. See, si, master. Here is Perdido. Did you send for me, master? In here are the papers from the priest to the church at Monterey. Would you have me carry them? Hold thy tongue and listen. You can travel safely if you keep away from the pass and the road. Tell the gringo the tile wagon leaves tomorrow at dawn. Tell him he is to meet the wagon by the ancient oak. Give this to the gringo. Tell him it will bribe his way. See, si, senor Blacksmith. Tell Perdido where to travel. Watch thy step, Indian. Take the route by the falls under the big dry wash. 
and whistle twice like a quail. Si, senor. Like a macro. This is a missing Indian. Perdido. Look at this. A nugget. Name of the saints. Gold. Too bad your aim is so true, Juan. We could have made this one wag his tongue. Senor Mendoza will make others talk. You're still playing with fire, priest. What does this mean? You have read it. The appeal to the church for supplies is good enough, but the other is dangerous. Again, word to the governor that everything isn't well in the valley. Church and your kind are already teetering on the thin edge, Padre. I write the simple truth. Brutality to the workers, starvation, no attempt to pay for labor. But for the cultivation of our poor mission lands, half our people would be starved to death by now. You've been too long sheltered. Hard facts pass you by, Padre. You priests are all dreamers. But maybe this will awaken you. That is gold, is it not? It is gold, all right. A smelted nugget on your courier, the Indian, Perdido. Perdido? I have not seen this gold before, Mendoza. Think of your matins, Padre. That lie came too fast. The cloth is not worn by liars. Is there more of this here? May I see it? Would not its very smoothness indicate that it has been long in the pouch of a packet? Smoothness? Is that not a sign of its age among men who know gold? It is smooth. And is it not well known that our Indian brothers often carry such things as talismans? Yes, I guess so. Your faith hasn't yet got all of them by the throat. Perdido may have carried that for years. What have you done with my messenger? He stumbled, priest, over a round piece of lead. And while I am here, any man that you try to send out of the valley will stumble. Please, God, there soon come an end to thy stay amongst us, Mendoza. Amen to that, Padre. But for my vows in the chapel, Master, I would commit one mortal sin. Almighty punishes in his own way. It is written, thou shalt not kill. Send for us, Father. Garcia, thy yellow metal has brought evil upon all of us. Perdido has been killed. And Mendoza has the gold. Oh, Heavenly Father, forgive me for my sins. That's why I sent Perdita with the gold, thinking it would open a way of escape for Mikhail. Mendoza will stop at nothing until he finds the source of this gold. Watch thy step, Garcia, and you too, Guyon. Let us pray. Things are happening fast. You leave it go. Pablo's willing to take me to Monterey. See, si, for Goldie will do anything. Here, the master sent this for you. You paid the driver half when you meet him. The rest at Monterey. Aye. 
Come, Gringo. The meeting place is far from here. Just the driver. Are you sure you can trust him, Guyon? He wants the gold, amigo. Gringo. Here, Pablo. This for now. And if we're still together at Monterey, I'll give you the rest. As you will, senor. I am a poor man. To risk my life like this is worth much. No, Guyon. Three lives are being risked, driver. One worth the other two put together. Three lives, Guyon? See, si, amigo. I have a surprise for you. You big ox! Now I know! Maria, darling. Oh, tis glad I am to see her. But aren't you afraid? Oh, nothing matters when I'm with you, Michael. Quickly, get in. There's no time to lose. This is one fine friend you are, Guyana. May your Irish's luck stay with you. And take good care of Maria. Oh, we'll be back before the first ringing of the Carillion. <laughs> On your way, Pablo. And be careful. I'll be waiting your return. Si, senor. I'd much prefer a nice, warm cave. <laughs> An hotel at every stagecoach is what we need. When I'm governor of these colonies, I'll see to it. The road car is up ahead, Gringo. Hey, amigos, another love from Monterrey. See, si. Senor Mendoza must be getting rich, no? Si. How's the wine skin? Full as a bloated pig. Come on over and have a drink. Gracias. The fool. He's going to tell the guards. Come. If I was to tell you where the gringo hides, what would Mendoza do for me? Watch, amigo. Why, he could make you a leader of men. Under me. Where is he? I will tell you on one more condition. I get the gold he has. Gold? Si. If you have, please don't. There in my dragon is the gringo and the blacksmith's daughter. Amigo! Around the wagon, the green goes in it. of this in the village and I will slit your gizzard. Mendoza will play all of us. I have to take to the hill. Shut up, fools. They say fool talk. Not a word, hombre. No word from me. Well, say the horses shied and bolted. That's how you lost the tire. Say anything, hombre. Anything. Ugly. You say the horses shied and bolted. That's the story. Si, senor. Si. Well, 
They got through, Master. Are you certain they got past the road car? See, Master, they got through. They were riding like troopers. No one could have caught them. Those horses were flying. Please, heaven, they get through safe. Oh, come, Goliath, to the bellows. See. Better walk now, darling. We daren't ride these horses into Monterey and risk a charge of stealing them. There, horses. The world is yours. And I suppose you'll try to aid us. <laughs> if Matt and my old nurse is still in Monterey, she'll help us, Michael. Hey, maybe she could introduce me to the governor. Oh. <laughs> Michael, do you suppose Mendoza will harm Father? Little as it gain him, just I Mendoza once. Yes, he had done. He will. Don't you see? We're right on top of it. El Camino Real! Aye. Oh, wait, Michael. When you first set foot on the King's Highway, you're supposed to make a wish. It's lucky. I trod the length of the town and after the wreck, when I thought I had a continent to cross on foot. It is for you to make the wish. Listen, Camino Real. Please make the governor a kind man who'll let Michael stay in Alta California, subject of our gracious king. But mind your highway, I'm still an Irishman. Shh! Well, the wish. One, please don't let anything bad happen in San Fernando while we're away. The bells. And make Father's bell so sweet in tone that they'll bring pilgrims from everywhere. That ought to do it. And that seals the wish. Aren't these workers in the field? It's the Sabbath, senor. They are engaged in holy work. There's work at the ranch, Sabbath or not. Oh, there! To the fields! And no more of this! I need every man in the fields every day! Then we'll raise the bells with the help of Mission Indians, Mendoza. I'll raise every beam myself, Master. You artisans are too free with words. You, big one. Back to your task. I have words for your master. I know thy wench has joined the gringo in the mountains. Do you approve of this business? Not at all, senor. You are hiding them, Garcia? I take holy oath, senor. I have not seen them or had word. You're too religious to lie. And they're still hiding in the mountains. But my men will find them. And then I'll present you with their heads on a pole. It is the work of the saints, to whom I have burned candles these many years, imploring their protection for all the niños I've brought into the world, not forgetting Francisco Garcia's leader one. When I left San Fernando, you could just stick your nose over the table. And I've never forgotten you, Manta. And the candies. Oh, the candies. How you gobble them. And sweet as sugar she's been ever since. He has a quick tongue, this one, no? I hope it'll be quick tomorrow when we see the governor. You're not taking Maria with you. Sure, and why not? I will not have Francisco Garcia's daughter seen on the streets of Monterey in a peon's pantaloons. She's not for the dons. She'll be dressing. Pantaloons are good enough for me. Oh, but Michael, they might think me a boy. You came to me for help, Miguel O'Brien. Now listen to me. I know these dons. In Monterey, it is the cloth that makes the man. They whip you from the streets on sight. So, it's a fine dress she'll be needing then, is it? Well, then, I'm bold enough to buy the best in Monterey. Tomorrow, darling, first thing. Tomorrow, it'll be too late. Save thy gold. These dons are poor pay when I midwife their families. So what they don't give, I take. There are dresses here, little one, and fine serapis and silks from Spain. Manta, you're a darling. <laughs> what means this, darling? It means Carida. Sure, and the angels were with us when we found you still here. Ah, 
Like thy father is better, he has a smooth tongue. Come, Maria. Your Excellency. Your Excellency. Oh. Without the gringo, towel making is finished, eh, Master? And that stupid mule driver wrecked the entire load. Tell me, little one, what does that religious fool of a blacksmith talk about? The bells. Always the bells. Keep your eyes open, little one. If he so much as breathes of this gringo, listen to his every word. Do you think the gringo and the senorita got to the coast by now, master? Hold thy wagging tongue, girl. Forgive me, master. They're not yet out of the foothills. My men will bring back the head of that gringo on a pike's pole. And the senorita? There's ice in her veins. There's fire in yours. And when you leave for Spain, what will happen to poor Nita? There's plenty of room in Spain for a girl like you. Michael, do you think they'll do something to you? Sure, and I can take care of myself. If anything should go, go back to Martha's house. Michael, it would be better not to go in. Oh, don't worry, darling. The saints have been with us all along. I will speak to you. Uh, like I said before, my business is with the governor himself. So, Senor Pumpkin, you would not stoop to speak to a lesser person? Look, Quill Pusher, I demand audience with someone higher up the scale than you. Your name and where you come from? Michael O'Brien from San Fernando Valley. Did you say San Fernando, Umbrey? Aye, that I did. He demands to see the governor, Mr. Clerk. Indeed. I am interested. This is a case for the secretary. Take care of it. I will see if His Excellency the Secretary will speak to you. Good morning, Senorita. The flowers are beautiful this season. Oh, si, sí, Senor. It is permitted to walk in the promenade. Why, I was just waiting for someone. Ah, a lover's tryst. It was one of my clerks out promoting for showing good taste and judgment. He's my betrothed, senor. He's gone to see the governor. Oh, affairs of state. May I ask where you are from, senorita? From San Fernando. We only arrived last night. Hi, I know a little of the affairs of the great rancho, senor. But my business here is a more personal matter. A matter of delicacy. I would take it up with the governor himself, if possible. On thy way, hombre. Audiences with the governor are not for such as you. But... But it's a question of marriage, senor. I am not of your people. I come from Ireland. The church will sanction the wedding, but there remain the laws of your king. Where is thy wench? I ask for simple courtesy, senor. You are wasting my time. Listen to me, you pup. This is important. Get out of here, you dog, you Irish swine. <gasps> you, you struck me, guards! If you know 
the governor, senor. Would you just whisper to him? This business about the overseer at the ranch is something he must be told. Whisper to him. I'll take him by the nose and lead him to hear these spells. <laughs> <laughs> Long, darling, I put me foot into it again. Wait a minute. Return to your stations. See, Your Excellency. Your Excellency. What is the meaning of this? Your Honor, that man, he, he snapped me. You probably needed it. Get back to your desks, both of you. I've wanted to slap that one a time or two myself. Thank you, Michael O'Brien. You must be the governor. See. Uh, uh, Your Excellency, I was merely seeking an audience. Full audience is granted. Be seated. Will you see, Governor? Uh, <clears throat> Your Excellency, it's like this. Name of the saints, the governor. Oh, he was the nicest, sweetest man, Manta. Drink your nice, sweet orange juice. As for me, I think I need something stronger. He's sending postillions out ahead. We're going back to San Fernando, riding all the way. And in the governor's coach. I and the governor himself is going along and pin the ears of Juan Mendoza back to his head. San Fernando's the governor's own ranch. He's only been here a few months. And he and... was too busy ever to go there. He always trusted Mendoza. But now he might even live in the valley. Where he can hear the bells. You know, we even told him about the gold. Golden bells. <laughs> I think thou must have a golden tongue, Irisha. Oh, nothing of the kind. Tis Maria gets all the credit. With fresh horses, we should be there tomorrow. Oh, Michael, I hope Father's all right. Don't fret, darling. By tomorrow, you'll be with him again. And the bells should be ready by then. Ah, uh, the bells. It'll be a relief from the gavel of politicians to hear those chimes in the quiet valley. Your Excellency, there is nothing more beautiful. in Monterey. No, no, this is the big journey. You are leaving. You promised to take me with you. I tell you I'll be back. Swine, dog, you're leaving forever. You little fool. Not the fool you think, master. without me, perhaps. But would you leave without this? By the saints! I sweated and slaved for five years to get mine in dribbles while you hide the biggest loot of all. Where did you get this? If I tell you, you take me with you? Where did you get it, my little wild one? In the forge, master. The blacksmith. Enrico, Junipero, why didn't you tell me this before? Get the blacksmith and the big one. Watch that Guyan take plenty of men. The priest, get him too. I'll make one of them talk. Now go. Si, senor. Get out. So, all you wanted was the gold. You swine! She can't get out! Ah. 
I'll get out. But you'll never get the gold. The gringo and Maria are in Monterey right now. You fool! This then is Rancho San Fernando. We'll make improvements. Your Excellency, I can arouse no servants. Take over the place. When the overseer appears, bring him to me. You will be my guest. Uh, uh, Your Excellency, Maria's concerned about her father. Oh, of course. Take my coach. Oh, thank you, Governor, but it's only a short walk. As you wish. If it pleases, Your Excellency, we'll ask the priest for the full time at Angelus. Ah, fitting welcome to San Fernando. Go then and bring this worthy blacksmith back with you for the ringing of the bells. Speak, priest, if you want to live to say your matins again. I tell you, I cannot help you find the gold. Bring the iron. Forgive this man. He is touched with madness. Gold has turned his mind. Speak, priest, if you want to see another dawn. Where was the gold hidden after it was smelted? I tell you, I have no knowledge. They've caught the blacksmith and that big clown. I might burn the eyes of such as thee and make nothing but another martyr, eh, Padre? But these religious ones will speak if they see you blinded. No? They will not speak. With my permission, Mendoza. You'll have no use of it. Garcia headed for the hills, Master. The road guards caught him there. Tie them up. This one on his feet. Big ape. For a loose arm now, I take a day of torture. <laughs> Sacred Mother, free me for one minute. Look, Garcia. He's been thy slave for years. I'll leave him to you with a broken spine if he doesn't speak. Speak if you would, Guyon. Thou hast been a son. I can't see you suffer. Not for 10,000 lashes, master. Listen, you religious pair. The Padre's eyes are the price of silence. The gold was smelted. Where did you hide the bullion? Speak, Guyon, or suffer for the priest's blindness. Stop, Mendoza. The priest knows nothing. Garcia, have no fear. We are in the hands of the Lord. Have faith in his wisdom. No, no, wait. In the name of all that's sacred, spare the priest. Speak then. 
I'll show you. I'll show you the book. I forbid it. Have faith, Guyon. Forgive him, Padre. The decision was a sore one. You are easier than I thought, big one. Where is the gold? It is near the church, master. I'll show you. It is well hidden. Blacksmith, I suspect a trick. This big one spoke too quickly. Today I saw gold that was found here in the forge. Floor is earth. Dig them. Release the big one. And remove the shoes from the blacksmith. Heat those irons. If that brute has lied, I'll make the blacksmith talk. You two remain here at the forge. Out! Tis like a dream come true. For the answer to a prayer. Wait. Oh, Michael, what happened? Your father will know. Father! Help Garcia, see your father. I'll get the governor's guards. You have lied, big ape. I'll take your eyes first. I speak with a truth that is strange to your tongue. You asked to be brought here. Where did you hide it? I can only point it out. Is it buried? I can only point. It would take years for you to find it. Free my hands and I'll show you. Fire the door. Now free the clown's hand. Swine! Loose in his arms, he can't escape! Well, speak, fool! Where's the bullion? I gave you my word it was here. Well, where? If you're too dumb to talk, point! Up there! You swine! Stop! Stop, you fool! Stop! to the house. Aye. Master, the Corillion, it will ring again soon. Aye, big one. Yes, my son. Don Sebastian Fernando, do hereby announce and authorize Michael O'Brien, duly recognized subject of His Majesty the King of Spain, to be the new overseer for the Valley of San Fernando. Hey! 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 